In this video, I'm going to continue looking at limits. I'm going to look at the limit of a function. And this is the definition of what a limit is. <coughs> Mathematically, lim x little arrow a f of x equal l. And that's where is the limit as x approaches a if f of x is equal to l. That's how you read it. And the way you can find limits is we can sketch a graph of the function, which is this thing here, as you know from your algebra. And we can just plug in values getting closer and closer to a, which is this number here. And we can see what the results approach. So let's look at some examples. Here's my first one here. Yeah. <laughs> first of all, I think I'll just plug in some values. Let's plug in zero. That's two. Let's plug in, let's see what it wants. How about one? Two. And let's plug in three and four, and then let's that bit that that be it. You can plug in any numbers you like. Probably better ones to do than this. But this is just like. Now can see these are going down. Yeah. And wanting to find the limit as x approaches 3. But. Which is 11. Limit is 3, 11. It approaches 11. You can plug in values. What you're supposed to do is plug in values getting closer to 3 from either way. So you could go something like. Like that, that's another good way of doing it, but anyway, this comes to 11. So we just plug in these values into here for x, and we'll calculate what they come out to be. A bit similar to the first video I showed you either of the two classic problems. This one, we find it as x approaches 1. And again, we can put in values, but I'm not going to do it. And see what the approach. So you put your results. So these are your x and these are your f of x. And notice these are approaching 1. And these are approaching 1. So you can use that to see where coming to but I'm not going to calculate them you know how to do that from algebra this is just explaining your idea so the limit of this actually turns out to be minus five this one is a strange one and this one I've got f of x is equal to seven notice that there's no x so whatever x is f of x is always 7. So the answer to this one would have to be 7, because it's always 7. 
No. The question that some people might who are watching this video might ask is can we not plug in A itself? Well, notice in this case we can, we can plug in A into here, which just happens to be 3. And we notice that that comes out to be 11. This one we can plug in 1. Then we get 1 minus 6, which happens to be minus 5. But does it always work? The answer is no. Let us show you an example where that doesn't work. Now notice, if we plug in 3 here, we'll have a problem. This bracket here equals 0. And then this bracket here equals 8. But 0 times 8 is 0. And this also turns out to be 0. So then we get 0 over 0. Which doesn't exist. It's undefined. So end up with a problem, so for these types of things we need different methods which we'll learn about a little bit later on in this section on limits. Okay, so no that doesn't always work but sometimes yes it does so just be careful for now and you can use any numbers close to 3 for that one as I showed earlier but you can't plug in 3 itself because you get something that's undefined.